All right, so today we are addressing a viewer request for my list of the best beginner designer bags for men. I've got some good stuff on this list that'll work for everyone, so stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're gonna find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style you're gonna find right here. Before we get started, go ahead and hit subscribe down below, give this video a thumbs up, say hi down in the comments. Find me over on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. And what are we doing today? We are discussing Caleb Snell's top picks for men wanting to dip their toe into the luxury bag field. This is actually a viewer request about two months ago from the viewer Minneapolis. Minneapolis, his name's Paul, and it's, it's a cheeky name, I love it. I love what you did there. So he wrote in, he said, could you do a video on your favorite beginner bags for men? I love your bags, but I'm not confident enough to rock something as colorful or unique just yet. So that is a great idea, Paul. Thank you for writing that in. And can you believe it? We've been doing this channel for about two years now and I haven't done a dedicated men's bag video yet. I dropped the ball on that one, I am sorry. However, real quick, yes, gender, expression, identity, it's all just a construct. Society, you know, markets, so this is for men, this is for women. At the end of the day, do what, you know, makes you feel most comfortable, most confident. If you're a lady wanting to buy a men's bag, go for it, vice versa, go for it. Just make sure that you feel confident and you feel good with what you're carrying and that it's fitting your needs. That's my disclaimer. All the bags I picked today are from specifically the men's site, the men's part of the websites, which a few times I, I normally like go to the bags under women. So I'd be like, oh, this is a men's bag video. So I just switch it up, which was a fun practice for me because I haven't looked at like men's specific bags in a very long time. And there's some really cute ones out there. Low key might get one next year, just saying. Now the bags that I picked today, I'm trying to do like a high low from each designer brand. We're gonna start out at Coach, and at Loewe, I've got about six or seven really cool bags for you guys, so let's dive in. Now, first up on this list of designer bags for men, and also the most affordable, we don't like the word cheapest or cheaper around here, we say most affordable, is the Charter Crossbody and Signature Jacquard from Coach. And this one comes in at only $295, and low key, it is a vibe. So if you're into like that whole LV trunk look, but you wanna kind of save some money, find out if like men's bags are for you, this is where you wanna dip your toes in to get started. Like this bag is, is total fire. The front pocket opens up and there are six card slots, so it's kind of like a built-in wallet on chain. Love that. The interior does look big enough to fit your larger Pro Max phones. Tons of space in there, tons of pockets. Super cute, and I love that it has that thicker guitar strap. Now, something like this, you can either wear in the hand that has like a cute little hand strap. It's a men's video, I shouldn't say that. A cool hand strap that you can like stick your hand in. It's got like coach, you know, emblazoned on it so you can carry it as like a clutch or as like a daily organizer. But it does have that crossbody strap too. You can wear it higher up on the chest for like that bum bag look. Full crossbody, shoulder bag, whatever you wanna do, the strap is removable. And what I like too about Coach is they offer like different chains and things. You can kinda of like dress the bag up, make it work for you. It's kind of a cool bag, not gonna lie. I like that it has the two compartments, so it's gonna be pretty well organized. And as you can tell in the model, looks pretty good on them. Now, the color that I've picked for you is the charcoal black, just because, I mean, I think black works with everything, so there's that. Sticking to Coach and going a little bit more up market on their price scale, the next bag I wanna call to your attention is the Coach Row Foldover Tote. That's row with an E, love that for us. This one's priced at 695 and for a full leather bag that does as much as this one does, it's kind of a good deal these days. Hate to say it, but that is honestly a pretty good deal. So the color I've picked is deep blue. Hello, I'm Caleb Snell, I love blue bags. If you didn't watch that video, link down below. I have a problem when it comes to blue bags. So of course I saw this immediately and I'm like, ooh, that's going on the list. What do I love about this bag so much? Well, it can do three things, which is pretty cool. First and foremost, it is a fold over tote. So you can either carry it as a tote with its top handles, which are like the nice structured ones that we see on the Coach Rogue totes that I still low key want. It can also be folded over and you can wear it on the shoulder with the chain or you can go crossbody with the guitar strap. So like, honestly, you get a lot of versatility with this bag. When it comes to men's bag, like the more versatile, the more useful, the better, not gonna lie. The interior is like that nice 1941 canvas. So it's light, it's easy to find things in. You have a zipper pocket, a couple of slip pockets. You can easily store your phone in there, find your things. And it looks pretty good on the model, not gonna lie. It's, it's, it's a cool bag. Coach has been doing fold over totes for men for a very long time. And this is probably one of the best ones I've seen come from their house. It's been a minute since I've liked to fold over tote, but this one, this one is perfection. I also like that it has the zipper pocket on the backside. So if it's folded over, just like unzip it and grab your phone. Like it could not get any easier. 695, the row fold over tote from Coach. Love it. All right, so the next house we're gonna check out is gonna be Gucci. Now from here on out, we're gonna see the prices go a little bit more upmarket, which I mean, hello designer handbags. 
It's part of the game, apparently. The very first bag that I've picked for you is the Gucci Horsebit 1955 mini bag. So this one is actually really cute. So it's got the coated canvas, which is great for rainy days. I mean, hello, it, it rains, it snows, there's weather. I'm assuming, probably shouldn't assume because you know what they say about assuming, but maybe those in the men's sector aren't gonna be as quick to switch their bags out. So you need something that's gonna work all day, every day. This is gonna be one of those bags. This one can take a beating. I love that it has the gold hardware. It can go crossbody, can fit the phone. I've actually tried this on a few times in store, as has Zane. We both like it, so do you wanna go have these? No. <laughs> okay, guess I'll buy it, you'll just steal it. <laughs> anyway, this one also comes in a myriad of colors. So if the white trim is not your taste, you can do the tan trim, the blue canvas, which, hello, I love blues. They also have the large GGs, which I'm not, like, Personally, it doesn't speak to me, but like on other people, I can totally, totally see it and respect it. Like it's a vibe, but I just like the white. I think it dressed it up a little bit more, makes it a little bit more work appropriate, things like that. This next one is like my Gucci dream bag. So please, one of you buy it and tell me down in the comments like how it wears because I want this bag so bad. One of my favorite color combos when it comes to handbags is like green and gold, like green, green, whatever, gold hardware. It's such a good look. It's so luxe. It's so over the top, mysterious. Like I love that color combo. And this bag is no exception. This is the Python shoulder bag with double GG. It takes a lot of the same style points from the Ophidia collection. It's an exotic leather, which really kind of like dresses it up and gives it that extra oomph. And it's emerald green, like hello with gold hardware. It's it's literally the perfect crossbody bag. So I'd like to amend my 2022 Christmas list, Zane. He's shaking his head no again. He's so so mean today. Anyway, so this style is still in production. So if you order it now, it'll most likely ship in late March of 2023, but good things come to those who wait. Am I wrong? This one's currently priced at 3,450. Now again, this is gonna fall into like that whole kind of rigid trunk vibe. It also looks like a camera bag. And what's also great, it comes with like a little strap. So you could carry it as a clutch or as just like a pouch. I like the versatility, especially at this price point. It's good to be versatile, right? The, the canvas crossbody strap, it's nice and thick, that classic guitar style we all know and love. And I mean, God, this bag is a vibe. The interior is that nice soft Alcantara. The bad thing with this bag, I don't think it has an exterior pocket, which is kind of a bummer, but I mean, it's, it's so small and compact that it's not gonna be hard to like find your phone at a moment's notice, right? Now, if you wanted to go with a different look, you can either get like the coated canvas with just the, the Python trim around it, also 100% a vibe. So whatever you wanna do, someone please buy this bag and tell me how it is, because I want one so bad. Let's switch things up. Let's head from Italy and go up to France. And let's look at LV. Now, when it comes to Louis Vuitton, I think above everyone else, they have the most varied range of handbags for men and women, accessories. Like LV has tons of bags. Like, believe me, there's more than just Speedies and Neverfulls. I know, shock, who knew? However, the bag that I've picked for you today from LV is the steamer wearable wallet in like that shadow monogram. It is so cool. It has like that like pin pullout that Virgil Abloh kind of put on a lot of the men's bags from back in the day. The chain, it is, such a cool bag. So this one, it goes crossbody, and also on the interior, wearable wallet. It has a lot of different card straps and things on the interior. It's like a nice steamer trunk design, and it's currently retailing for 1,830. The interior, let's talk about it. Cowhide leather trim, textile lining, black colored hardware, and you have the signature steamer style chain. So on the inside, you have the, like, the little zipper pocket, the nice smooth lining. <sighs> the more I'm looking at it, the more I want this one too. Now, the little chain pin thing on the front, that is totally fake. It, like I said, it's just a magnetic closure, which makes it even all the more convenient, right? Am I wrong? And I love that it has like those like embossed corners. Oh, this bag is a vibe. This one is really good. Sticking to LV. We all know in the coming year, they're going to be doing a little less of the, like the canvas. The coated canvas won't be as easy to find. They really want to push their leathers. And I have a lot of Taiga leather in my collection, both with travel gear. I actually have a Taiga crossbody bag from the men's collection. I do own a couple of men's bags. Believe it or not, surprise. However, this is the Keep All XS. I love it. First of all, the Keep All shape, it's iconic. We all love it. I like that this one's also a little bit more low key. So you're just gonna have the leather, that beautiful cross hatched leather, LV in the corner, but you do have the Louis Vuitton on the crossbody strap. This can also go handheld. You can wear it crossbody on the shoulder. You have a lot of different versions and, and ways that you can carry this bag. So they're saying that this is from the blue Aerogram cowhide leather. So maybe not necessary Taiga. Oh, no, it's different than Taiga, okay. Wow, so it has like a really pretty grain to it. Kind of like a more subdued Togo leather almost. It's a really nice pebbled leather. So silver tone hardware, which we all know I love. Beautiful interior, beautiful bag, gorgeous leather. You can't go wrong with LV in, in the men's department, in my opinion. So this bag could be yours for the low price of $2,440.
a big ask for such a small bag. Leather from LV, good quality. You have the versatility of handheld or crossbody or shoulder. It's a good way to dip your toe in. It's gonna give you a little bit more of an offbeat color. It is what it is, I don't make up the prices, but it's a really cute bag nonetheless. Now let's head back down to Italy and stop at one of my favorite houses, Fendi. I'm actually carrying my Fendi.com today. I don't know if you guys can see it back there. Anyway, we all know I love some Fendi. So the very first bag that I've picked out is called the Baguette Pouch, and I picked this in the black leather. Looks more purple online, but they're calling it black. We love a confusing moment. And this one's priced at only 1100 only. Um, essentially, it is a foam pouch. So this one, you can go crossbody. It can go literally on your belt, which is kind of a vibe. Palladium finished hardware. It's 11 centimeters high, two and a half centimeters deep. Overall, it's a pretty good size. Made of calf skin inside and out with a little bit of cotton and polyester on the lining. It is super, super cool. It's, it's a good bag. There's also a zipper pocket inside. So if you just wanted to throw your phone in there, a couple of credit cards, dash out the door you have that capability. I really like Fendi a lot. I think it's a good company to kind of like dip your toe in. One of those fashion houses that's not over diluted, like we don't see Fendi everywhere. Like yeah, everyone has Fendi, but we don't see it everywhere all the time, which I like. I like having things that I'm not gonna see out and about very often, which is why I buy some older bags mostly. But this one, this one's really good. Now we couldn't talk about Fendi without talking about one of my favorite silhouettes. This is from the men's collection. So the men's peekaboo is slightly different than the women's peekaboo. Technically I just have the women's peekaboos, but the men's peekaboo, it's a little bit more, a little bit more low key. They don't necessarily have the turn locks on both sides. The back side I think is just a hook. The front side though has the turn lock. No, excuse me, the back part is zippered. The front part has the, the turn lock. And what I really like about these is they have that new pocket design where you can like snap it out and like buy a different pocket and it basically makes a new bag, right? This can also be worn crossbody with the strap. It can be worn handheld. Like it is overall, this is a gorgeous men's bag. It's, it's a gorgeous bag for anyone, quite frankly. Now this is the Peekaboo ICU Medium. I picked the color dark red. It's a really nice burgundy kind of Merlot color priced at 5,700 before taxes. Even though it's a little bit different than the traditional Peekaboo, like I'm kind of here for it. Now it's really cool. Like, like I mentioned with that front pocket on the front compartment, you either have the white leather on the one side or you can turn around and it's the Fendi Zuka print on the back side. So you kind of get that duality of the design. Like, do I want to be more in your face designery today? Like labels, or do I want to be low key and just like have that nice white leather? The choice is yours. It's like basically getting two bags. In a roundabout way. The ICU version of the Peekaboo, it's a little bit more modern, a little bit more current. Today's design, like it's it's very clean and streamlined as opposed to like the Peekaboo iconic, like the older ones that I have. It's my goal this coming year to get a new Fendi Mini Peekaboo. It's gonna happen. I love the bag, love Fendi, get on it. Now we're gonna end in Spain with a fashion house that we've all been talking about a lot the last few years. Loewe. The first bag I want to call to your attention is the Amazona 15 and Napa Capskin. So again, this bag can be worn crossbody, on the shoulder, or handheld. I kind of like it that the fact that it's it's shaped like a mini sack plat from LV, um, but you get the zipper over the top. It's, it's, it's a nice touch. Overall, it's a beautiful bag. The zipper actually goes down the sides quite a bit of the way, so that way you can actually like get in and find your things. You know, this like tiny little opening like the uh, Louis Vuitton Danube that I have in my collection. That can be kind of a pain to get in and out of because it just zips across the top. This one goes down on the side, which is pretty cool. Again, you can wear this a multitude of ways, crossbody, the interior is a beautiful suede lining. Overall, like this is a stunning bag. It's a nice soft calf skin, internal foam pocket. What more do you want? It's a, the perfect bag. Now this one comes in three colors. You can do black, orange, or deep navy. Again, I'm not like the biggest fan of warm colors, so I'd probably stick to black personally, but the, the, the deep navy is pretty cute too. Now, this brings us to our final bag. Not our most expensive bag, but the final bag on the list. This is the Men's Loewe Large Puzzle Bag in Classic Calfskin, currently priced at $39.50. The color that I've picked is Dark Sage. For the coming year, I'm really kind of like vibing with like, these moodier, like neutral colors, like lighter colors. Like your Dark Sage, I really liked what LV brought with that Keep All Excess. Like, like fun, more subtle colors. Now this, we, we all know the puzzle bag. We've seen them, like they're there, we get it, but I still want one really bad. I like though that this one switches things up. I think people typically gravitate towards the tan puzzle bag, but like the deep sage, dark sage, excuse me, and the asphalt gray though are both really beautiful colors, especially the asphalt gray. I'm not the biggest fan of gray, but like, for a gray, that's a good gray, if you know what I'm saying. Now, the Loewe puzzle bag can be worn handheld, which I really like, crossbody, on the shoulder. Again, that versatility, that you know utilitarianism, 
we have different options. And this larger version is gonna be a little bit bigger than what we've seen before, so you have more room to like store your things in there. I really want one. Now this one has a herringbone cotton canvas lining and Boston anagram on the outside. Overall, like a really stunning bag, and I think the large has really good proportions. You can also either wear this one on the shoulder with like hooking it to the top loops, or you can kind of cock it at an angle. They give you an extra clip at the bottom too, where you can kind of like wear it cross body across the back if you wanted. You have versatility there, which is really important. This also has a small zipper pocket on the back, but watching reviews, I don't think it can fit a phone. But like some of your more important cards, your train pass, your whatever you need, like easy access to, boom, right in that zip pocket. It's perfect. I want this one too. <laughs> anyway, so those are my top picks for men's bags for 2022. Again, I might need a little more practice shopping in the men's section when it comes to bags. So if these weren't on point, let me know. We can try again, I guess. I hope you liked some of these. Like the Fendi, that's on my list. I love the Amazona from Loewe. And can we just have a moment of silence for that gorgeous emerald green python? I mean, hello. Vibe 100. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Come back Friday morning for a weekend vlog with a special guest. So we actually met up with someone in the city. So guess down in the comments who you think it might be. I've already shared it on my Instagram. So if you're following me over there, then you would know caleb.snell.designer. However, we had a super fun time and I think we have plans to hang out again super soon. Super excited about that. Also on Sunday, I think we're going to take 2022 in retrospect. What I bought this year. Honestly, it wasn't as bad as last year, so it should be a much shorter video. Like I still bought quite a bit, but not as much because we had the Hermes Kelly this year. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you all on Friday. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>